Welcome to the 11th editions of the Atlantic Dialogues. I'm Thank very you. delighted to welcome you, Blair Glencourse, for uh, to to this discussion. Thank you. So uh, you are executive director of the Accountability Lab, yes. and today we will have a short discussion about improving governance through accountability. Yes. So it's very an honor to have you here with us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's uh, I think my fourth or fifth time at the Atlantic Dialogues, and it's always Amazing. a pleasure. Amazing, glad to have you here as well. So you launched the Accountability Lab in, 20, in, in uh, 2012, which is a non-profit organization um, aiming to make governments more transparent and accountable. Yeah. Yes. So um, first of all, how do you define accountability and how does it differ from integrity? That's a great question. Uh, accountability uh, is being responsible and accountable for the power that you have. Uh, I think it, it differs from integrity in a few ways. I would say integrity is a value, uh, it's something internal. Accountability uh, is a process uh, and something a bit more external. So Morocco has played very well in the World Cup, for example, if we, have a, if we use a football analogy. If a defender uh, committed a handball without the referee seeing it in, in his own box, if he admitted to that mistake, that would be integrity. But accountability would be if the referee gave a penalty to the opposing team. So if we talk about how to build integrity or accountability, I think integrity, as I said, is a bit more internal. It's about values. It's about education. Um, whereas accountability is more about systems and processes and how we, how we create the environment through which to hold people for account, to account for their, for their power and for their decisions. Absolutely. Very good analogy, by the way. <laughs> uh, so now going back to the accountability lab, so what is the scope of its work and can you give us concrete examples of how uh, the work you carry, particularly in Africa? Yes, the Accountability Lab is a what we call a translocal network, so it's a network of local organizations all over the world, including in eight countries in, in Africa, mm -hmm. that work, as you said, to make governments more accountable in creative ways. Mm -hmm. uh, so an example of that is a campaign that we run called Integrity Icon, which is a TV show to find the most honest government officials in many countries and turn them into celebrities to, to make them famous, to change the conversations around accountability into something that's positive, um, to celebrate good people. Uh, so that is an incredible campaign. It's, it's led to all sorts of very interesting reforms and a network of honest people all over the continent that are supporting each other and pushing for, for honesty and accountability and integrity. We work with a lot of young people, civic mm -hmm. activists and, and other young people with good ideas for, for accountability and how to make governments better. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also work in communities with communities to build systems and processes to hold local decision makers mm -hmm. accountable. So it's a lot of very bottom up uh, creative work with different kinds of communities. Um, and we feed all of this into policies at the international level as, as well to try and influence the way that we, mm -hmm. we are supporting governance and, and uh, to lead to better outcomes in, uh, in the societies right. in which we live. Great. And then in that context and uh, stemming from that, how do you view cooperation uh, in the wider Atlantic with regards to improving governance in the region? I think there's a lot of cooperation that's needed. Um, part of the reason we're a local translocal network uh, is because I think there's a lot of important learning to be shared between between the Global South. There is a default setting, as you know, that for some reason the Global South should learn from the Global North, but I, I disagree. I think it, it should be the other way around. The Global North can learn a lot from the Global South, and we can all learn a lot from each other, including across the Atlantic. So we have an accountability lab in Mexico, for example. Um, we're just starting some work in Belize. Um, we talk to a lot of other friends in Latin America about the lessons around accountability and governance that can be shared with Africa mm -hmm. and vice versa. Um, and, and there's a lot to learn. Um, there's some really important and creative approaches happening on both sides of, of the Atlantic um, and some, some really important networks that need to be built to allow that learning to happen. And that's a big part of what we do. Yeah, this is a very impressive work. And one last question. So you were part of the Atlantic Dialogues Emerging Leaders Program back in 2012. So could you shed light on your experience in the program and how it may have impacted your views? The program is, is really excellent. As a former young person, uh, I can now look back and really see the importance of the networks that it creates. You bring so many amazing young people together who 10 years later are now in positions of 
of power and influence, and there's a lot that I think I can learn from them, and being able to, to interact with them is, is really important. Um, the content in the program is, is really impressive. You provide very different perspectives on a whole range of interrelated issues. Um, and it's also, I think, an opportunity for young people that participate to step away from, from their day-to-day -day work and the operational yes. nature of what they do and reflect on some of the bigger strategic issues, the more systemic mm -hmm. issues um, within which they position themselves. And that also is, is hugely important. So it's a great program. I'd recommend anyone to, to apply and be part of it. And I'm happy to, to talk to anyone that would like to do so. So on these words, thank you very much for your time and expertise, and we hope that we will meet you again very soon. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.